Hello everyone and welcome back to Passion Sundays, the best way to end the week and start another. Our guest today stands to be one of the world's top traders in the financial markets and top experts in the same field, Sandy Dejeda. Sandy, thank you very much for being with us today. My pleasure, thank you. Really appreciate taking time out of the, uh, I know you, you've got a crowd waiting for you, so, and that shows passion because you're passionate about giving content to your audience there and audience on camera. What does passion mean to you? Passion, anything in life, is that you've got to have this burning desire to be successful. It doesn't matter whether you're in the financial markets, uh, whether you want to be passionate about cooking, but it's really having this innate burn, burning desire to succeed. Now, passion isn't easy to get all the time. You, you've got to understand that there's an element of time that you have to sacrifice some things in order to get that passion. Uh, for me, in my business, it's always about how do I become better than the best? And it's this constant continuation of learning, always trying to stay on top. And for that, you've got to put in a lot of time and effort to get to that stage. I love the better than the best. That's kind of the, the mentality I like to work with. And that being said, in a business like yours, financial markets, a very volatile business where you know, markets are literally up and down by the second. It's like wa watching a heartbeat go up and down. How do you stay passionate when times are tough? The first thing I've always taught people is that when you're born, uh, you form an attachment, and that's to your parents and then to your brothers and sisters. And eventually you start forming an attachment to money, ideas, things. And what I teach is how to detach and that's very, very difficult. Because if you're attached to money, you're constantly flowing um, that the market's going up and down, how do I keep up with that? You don't need to do that. And the key thing is this, we're teaching people how to be detached and let the opportunities come to you. I've always said to people, don't chase anything in life, let it come to you. And so we teach detachment and letting opportunities come to us. So what you're saying is passion is about detachment, and that's very tough in a financial market where, in principle, you're in it for the money. It's as simple as it gets. So how can you stay passionate about the money without being attached to the money, without being overly attached to that? Focus on the process. If you're always chasing that money, you're chasing that dollar, you're, you're constantly chasing something that's moving away from you, and you'll never win. So the idea is that why don't you set yourself up and let the systems manage the entire process for you. So in other words, we teach people that, look, here's a very simple strategy. You, you don't need to watch the markets all day. There are specific times the market will come to you. Once the market gets there, has it met certain criteria? It's a simple yes or no. If no, walk away. If yes, what's the next process? We place orders in the market. Is the order going to get filled? We don't know. If it doesn't, no problem. If it does, you're now in the market. So to get to that stage, it's like driving a car, right? You put somebody new in the car the first time, it's like, oh my God, what is this? Steering wheel, clutch pedal, gear stick, how do I even monitor all this? And there's three mirrors there to watch as well. But now somebody gets in the car and they're driving uh, without even thought. So the idea is, I've always said to people, there's no thinking involved in trading. All the thinking is done beforehand. And so the passion comes into this to say, okay, the financial markets offer opportunities. And one of the things that I teach people is this, that we're living in a world, a digital age right now. In the financial markets, we don't own anything. It's all digital. And so you have to be detached to that. If you're attached to something physical, you're going to find it a very tough time to be uh, getting involved in this business. So it's a continuation process. And the key thing, as I said, is education. I love it. So passion for education in the financial market. Sandy, thank you very much for being with us today and for sharing these beautiful insights. And I hope our users and our watchers would uh, enjoy that. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you for much. having me on. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Passion. passion. What do you think? I would really love to hear your opinion. Please write your comments on the blog below. And if you found it as useful as I did, please do share it with your friends. And if you'd like more tools, tips, techniques, and exclusive interviews that I only share on my website, go to mustafa.com. And until next episode, live passionately.